What happens when you fall out of love with your partner? So I came across this post yesterday in, it was some random thing that popped up on Facebook. Now, whether I'm in the group or whether it was just some random post that showed up in my feed, I'm unsure. And this man was genuinely asking, how can I fall in love with my wife, partner, again? So first I know it's a genuine question and a genuine reach for assistance. He also put partner there. It wasn't just his wife or his, you know, whatever. How can I fall in love with my wife, partner, again? After five years of marriage and a newborn son, the sex life and the interest has fallen down. What are the main triggers and how can I take action? I am Holly and I'm sharing a part of my journey to bring courage and inspire you on yours. So this man is genuinely concerned for his relationship. And majority of the people will have a quick response and it, it won't be much effort put into it. And this one response, this really shows how much men are left out. How much men are supposed to be the foundation for everyone else. Who's there for them? When is it that the man has the focus? When is it about lifting him up? It's always about, oh, well, you need to sacrifice you. You need to do this for everybody else. You need to do that. Don't talk about your feelings. Just keep it all bottled down inside it. I'm sure everything will be fine. So this man's response, your wife's priority is to care for your son. Your priority is to care for your wife so she can care for your son. The warrior sacrifices his needs for those he loves. Your wife's attention will return if you are diligent and giving and deserving. We have three grown children and after 24 years, I could not adore my wife more. There is a season for everything and the seasons come around again. Now I get what this man is trying to portray. First of all, him being married for 24 years is a different time than only being married the past five years. So he had his children really at the height of the internet. The internet had only been around for how many years before that? Before he got married? So this man is like married, having children, in the age of information, during COVID, all these things. And he's reaching out online, asking complete strangers for help. That means that he either feels he can't speak to his wife or he has so much childhood trauma that it was instilled in him that he needs to be that foundation for everyone, even if he's not okay inside. I just want to bring attention to this because it happens everywhere and I'm noticing it so much more. I actually was speaking to a lady today. I went to pick up some eggs and I was speaking to a lady telling her a bit about what I do and people give advice when they don't really need to. She asked what I did and I told her and then she wanted to like guide me everywhere and I'm like, I'm, I'm good. I just Again, nosy people that you shouldn't really tell anything to. And so she brought up, and I know it's, you know, it's, it's, 
good intentions. She means well. She raised a whole bunch of kids herself, so I get it. And she brought up about this family center, which is now like a women's shelter. And this is what happens all the time, is that people always go to the fact of women being in need, women and children being in need, abused women. There are men shelters. There are shelters. The majority of everything focuses on women. And I hope that there's more of a focus on children because of all the confusion that's being caused in the world right now. Men no longer feel strong. And some of those confused men start to think that maybe it'd be better if I identify as a woman. Because I don't get any attention now. And the confusion just goes on. And these men in these relationships aren't even comfortable speaking to their own wife about their needs, about how they feel. And I get it, when you have a newborn child, it's, it's difficult. I did it, I did it single. So now these confused men who feel that they have no one to talk to about what's going on inside them reach out to complete strangers who they don't even know who's on the other side of the screen. I was, I was away for a week sometime in November and I took my child to the hot tub and the pool and stuff. They had like outdoor hot tub and pool in the winter. It was super cool. So we were in the change room and this man dressed as a woman came, well, we were, I believe we were just coming into the change room from the pool and um, he, she had just finished getting changed and I, I looked up to say hi, to give a greeting. This, I do this to everybody. And he had his head down and scurried right into the, sh right into the pool. Him identifying as a woman has not brought any more confidence to him. Now he's even more confused than he was before. He thought that he'd get more attention. He thought that he'd be more, be more liked. And now he's struggling because he's like, holy shit, I told everyone I'm a woman. Now what am I going to do? Maybe I'm not. Maybe I don't want this. How do I revert back? Like how? I know there's a lot of turmoil going on right now within, within people, within families, within households, within workplaces. There's like, I don't know how many small businesses are about to close this year. How many banks have already closed? There's about to be some pretty heavy stuff. And when you have still not done the work that you need to for yourself, the inner work, how could you ever know your own value? I'm sharing this message to hopefully bring some insight and clarity on how other people struggle. We're faced with people on a daily basis and some people are, they're complete jerks to others, not knowing what they're going through in their own life. 
I've been in so many stores and they all have these signs up like on the door when you come in, on the posts in the store, at the cash register, on the plexiglass if they still got that up. Please do not take out anger on our staff or you will be removed from the store. You will be banned, like a banned. And I say every single time I go into the store, I say, you've really had to deal with this. And it's always the person that's behind the counter. It's not like, oh yeah, Joe in the back, he, you know, ran into a, a arrogant SOB one day. It's like, no, the, the people that are right there, every time there's a sign, that person has had to deal with it, which means they're not the only one in that store that's had to deal with it. So please, if you are not comfortable talking to the people you have closest to you, then there's a reason and it's either something within you or something within them. Because if they can't accept what you've got to say and they expect you to compromise on you and only be there for them, there's a, there's a major issue. So please, find a mentor, find guidance, find whether it's someone on YouTube to watch, whether it's one-on-one -on -one coaching, whatever that is, find somebody that can help you. Because there's people that are waiting to hear your voice. And I pray that that man finds the courage to open up to his wife and that she has the strength to hear his words and hear his concerns. I pray that she has the strength to work it out with him and figure out what works best rather than just reacting because then that'll put him back into his turtle shell and he'll he'll be pushed even farther into the corner of darkness. Put the work into yourself. Speak your truth. Know your boundaries. Know what you're willing to accept and what you're not willing to accept. Because it's not worth it. You don't get to take everybody along with you. So figure yourself out. Ah, blessings to you all. Have more love for people. Come on.